All right, today I'm going to discuss about this kind of limit questions. Um, because the limit question, you, you know basically what you need to do is you have to like simplify it until you get the final answer is without x. We mean you final answer normally you will get a constant. But the pro problem is you have a square root over here. And normally if I see this kind of question, the first thing come into my mind is maybe I can make this one become something bracket square, then square root and bracket square I can cancel out. But sadly, um, this one is not possible. So in this cases, I will just ignore this method because it's not possible to get that. All right, then the second thing I want to see uh, for this kind of question is because over here, they, they will say x actually is close to infinity. That's mean if I straight away substitute the infinity value into my x here, I couldn't solve it because you can imagine if infinity squared, that means it's extremely big number, plus one, it doesn't matter. Even I square root the extremely big number, is still very big, divided by extremely big number. So like extremely big number divided by extremely big number, actually it doesn't tell you anything. So my first idea come into this kind of question is, maybe we need to multiply one over x for both. Okay, why I want to multiply one over x here? Because if I multiply one over x here, basically, I will get one divided by extremely big number, then we can get zero. Okay, so if you can get zero, maybe you will get some final answer here. So let's see what happened. So I will copy this one, limit x is close to infinity. So when I divided by one over x, this is what happened. Square root 16x squared plus one over x, and then divided by 4x plus one over x. All right, then this is what happened. Um, because this is power 1, so if I want to include the square root over here, the x power 1 here, I can make it become x squared and square root, right? So you just imagine if you have the square root 16x squared plus 1 over square root x squared. Because we learned about the indices square root a over square root b, we can uh, join them together, become square root a over b, right? So over here, I, I would want to join them together, become something like this. Alright, so that means I join the square root together. Alright, so this is what happened next. So I will just join them together. So when I join them together, I will get something like this. So you can see this one actually I can separate them, right? I, I mean I have separate left and right. So this one will become a uh, 16x square over x square plus 1 over x square and x square and x square I can basically cut it so you should be able to see I, I'm getting something like this square root 16 plus 1 over x square all right the denominator I will do the same thing also I will separate left and right 4x over x and plus 1 over x so when 4x over x I basically get 4 plus 1 over x all right now only I apply the x will go into infinities um, uh, into my x value over here. So right now you're trying to imagine if 1 divided by extremely big number square definitely is 0, right? If not, uh, if you don't believe me, you can try your calculator like 1 divided by like 9999999 and then you will get very close to 0. So I will assume the whole thing here will gone become 0. And 1 divided by extremely big number is 0. So therefore, my final answer will be square root 16, square root 16, which is 4 over 4. So therefore, my final answer will be 1. All right, this kind of question uh, is a bit unusual. It's coming out in SPM, but in STPM or, or L level or any pre u syllabus, this is very normal questions. I hope my explanation actually can help you. So normally, if you see something like this, um, when x will go to infinity and your x is basically is like uh, at the numerator so you so you always need to remember this idea which you can multiply 1 over x to make your x go to the denominator because any number divided by extremely big number you will get zero so you just Im remember this one any number divided by infinity we basically will get zero all right so the multiply 1 over x uh, method actually is quite useful so just remember it. I hope you can understand this video. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoy this video. See you guys again. Bye bye.